the haunted house. In the night so dark, the air was strange, and the wind that blew across the grange went whispering past darkened windows, stirring the branches of the weeping willows. A sleeping house stands here, shadowed and all alone, wrapped within its mystery and waiting patiently for the dawn. It seems to tremble and shudder in the tall grass of this place, as though it once ran here in fright to hide its face. A dilapidated old house that has weathered many a gale, if it could only speak, what weird stories would it tell? Would it be a tale of terror, of bodies buried on the lawn? Would it speak of madness at midnight and screams at dawn, of ghosts who now walk its blood-stained, dusty floor, doomed to sadly repeat their lonesome deaths forevermore? So I will leave you to your memories that live within your wood and stone, as I now quietly retreat across the misty moonlit lawn with the old reverence of a silent proverbial mouse, knowing that it is always best to never awaken a haunted house.